Thank you for tuning in to Snake Diet Larry's Powerlifting Channel. I'm going to review Pure White and Deadly, How Sugar is Killing Us and What We Can Do to Stop It by Dr. John Yudkin. It could take a while for me to get through the book, but because I'm very, very busy these days, but while I'm out here digesting my, my food that I ate today, I ate nine eggs, one tablespoon of butter, and a pile of roasted vegetables. No white sugar today. White sugar is off today. Only for heavy, heavy lifting days. Otherwise, I eat sweet potatoes for my sugar. So, uh, the first chapter, he talks about the difference between white sugar and artificial sugar. Okay? So, and he's and he conclusively says that artificial sugar is nothing wrong with it. It's the white sugar we have to worry about. <clears throat> because the, uh, the sugar companies who have billions of dollars can publish vast amounts of literature saying that artificial sweeteners are bad. So next time you read uh, a study why artificial sweeteners are bad, look who's publishing it. Is it someone affiliated with the white sugar industry? So basically saying that, let me switch hands here. Basically, the first chapter, a summary is sugar, and this, is, this is from 1972, sugar is one sixth of the calories consumed by the world's population. This is after 200 years of study they've concluded this. And for 25 years, Dr. John Yardkin is saying, and this is 1972, he's saying, that for the past 25 years, so let's just say from 1950 to 1972, they've just begun to differentiate between sugar and starch. Okay, so rats fed over a long period of time were fed artificial sweetener proportional amounts to humans that equals 10 to 12 pounds of sugar for 50 for 40 to 50 years since rats don't live as long as humans they had to uh, ramp the dose up to match a lifespan mathematically so then then they found that the artificial sweetener used uh which was the name of the, the name of the sweetener and you can look it up i looked it up is uh is called cyclamate and it's it's like saccharin for those of you who are who are, are in my age group you remember them talking about saccharin and how bad saccharin is well that was the sugar industry saying that saccharin was bad sweet and low was bad right now they've then fed the rats the same amount of sugar and instantly rats develop fatty liver disease, diabetes, uh, enlarged kidneys, and their lifespans were shortened. So, the chapter concludes with saying, okay, let's pay attention to what's coming next because we're eating close to 200 pounds of sugar a year, people. Right? And he, and he ends it by saying, he ends the chapter by making a claim, which I believe in too, because when I was snake dieting hard, 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 I didn't eat any white sugar, except when I would refeed or have a small binge. But he said, Neither you nor your children need to take in any sugar at all or food or drinks made with it in order to enjoy a completely healthy and highly nutritious diet. If as a result, now you give up all or most of your sugar eating and I shall now show you later that this is not too difficult, I shall not have wasted my time in writing this book. And more importantly, you will not have wasted your time in reading it. Well, I definitely didn't waste my time in reading the first chapter of this book, Pure White and Deadly, by Dr. John Yudkin, How Sugar is Killing Us and What We Can Do to Stop It. And what I learned is that the little bit of artificial sweetener that I take in, in my coffee, hasn't had any adverse effects on me because I've got blood tests that show uh, that my health is pretty doggone tip top right now. And neither one of my two doctors has, has made any mention to me that I might want to give up the artificial sweetener. There's been nothing shown in the blood panels um, that my artificial sweetener consumption 
is harming me. Now take, take for granted though, here's a medical fact and ask any endocrinologist this, that the liver is a tremendous organ that will only show damage on blood tests once you have about 99% ruined it. Otherwise your liver enzymes are gonna be normal. That's why they have all the other things they test you for. So my C-reactive protein, which tests for, uh, tests for cardiovascular inflammation is lower than any human out there, almost. Um, my thyroid levels are normal. My liver enzymes look great. Um, Blood sugar, blood glucose level is 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 really good. Uh, LDL, both LDLs, HDLs are good. I'm not looking so bad, guys, and really it's because I, I started regulating my white sugar intake virtually from here down to there. So if you can figure out how to adjust your lifestyle, where you give up that white sugar six six days a week and only have a little bit on day seven, you're gonna notice one huge mega change. So, uh, let's see, what's the next chapter we're gonna review? The next chapter I review, and I don't know when I'm gonna review, but I'll have time to review it, because I've gotta get back into studying, is uh, gonna be called, the next chapter that I review will be called Sugar. I eat it because I like it. Yeah, sounds like, sounds like everybody out there, you eat that sugar because you like it, right? Okay, well, see you for the next video. Thanks for tuning in on this one, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.